Hi guys, Chrissy, and you're watching Here We Are Running, and we are back, back with another shoe review. This is the Elevar Arc Racer. If you haven't heard of Elevar before, they started off a few years ago making cricket bats out in India, and they've diversified a little bit because now they have their first running shoe. It's called the Arc Racer. It's a neutral running shoe. I'll just take you through the features first of all, and starting with the midsole. The midsole foam's called Ride Foam. It's designed to be soft and durable with shock absorbing features and plenty of energy return. The Aeronet upper is a 3D engineered upper with a booty style sock liner and an external heel counter. It's got a rubber mesh pattern design to the outsole tread and in between those little meshes you've got uh, some exposed midsole foam but the mesh covers the entire length of the outer. The shoe's available in sizes UK size 6 through to 11 and in terms of the price, well, it's sold in Indian rupees, normally 6,490 rupees, but at the time I'm making this video, it's actually 5,490 rupees, which when you convert it to pounds, that's 55 or $74 or 65 euros. But as I mentioned, this is a neutral running shoe. And normally, for those of you that are regulars on the channel, you know that I run in stability running shoes. So I wanted to bring someone else into this video who is a neutral runner. Uh, and he's also uh, runs in this type of shoe. Because if you looked at that shoe, you might think it looks very similar to the Adidas Ultra Boost. Uh, so I'm bringing in Paul, here he comes, and he currently runs in Adidas Ultra Boost. So he's running with a pair of these. We'll see what he thinks of it as well. Right, so we've both been running in these now for a few weeks. Uh, you've probably done a bit more running than I have. Yeah. Well, firstly though, what do you think of the comfort? I'd say it's excellent. Um, the ride foam is very soft and bouncy. It gives you a good return when your foot hits the floor and it pushes you back along. Yeah, I, I, go. I definitely agree with that. It is a, it is a bouncy midsole foam, this. And uh, certainly, a shoe that I think you could put quite a lot of miles in and feel comfortable during the longer distances. Right, let's talk about sizing. Now, I'm a UK size 11, you are? A UK 8. UK 8. Would you say this fits true to size? Yes, Bigger? I would say it's probably about spot on. Yeah, yeah, and I tend to agree. I think you were saying earlier, a little bit wider than your current ultra boost running shoes that you've got definitely but but i would certainly describe it true to size for the uh, for the sizes that we've got in terms of the weight of the arc racer uh, in my uk size 11 it was weighing uh, 340 grams which is maybe a little bit more than my other running shoes that I run in, but not too much. Um, now, your UK size eight, you compared the Ultra Boost with the Arc Racer. Yes. Uh, so which was the, the heavier? Oh, the Arc Racer was slightly heavier. I'd say 10 to 15 grams a shoe. Okay, so 10 to 15 grams per shoe heavier. And did you notice that at all on the runs? No, not really. Um, no. My times are pretty much identical what I was using the Adidas for. Yeah, it certainly doesn't feel like it's a really heavy shoe bulking it down or anything. And I think, you know, that's part of the bounce is helping with that as well. Okay, so we, our run so far have been on a mix of terrain. As you can see here, it's kind of gravelly type path. We've been on some damp pavements as well. Finding it grippy? Yes, I would say. I think it slightly edges out my other trainers. There are. Yeah got a little bit more grip due to the uh, diamond pattern and uh, yeah it's good I wouldn't say it's not an off-road shoe no but, uh, but it's not it's not you know we're not sliding and we're running on a bit of mud now as well so we're not sliding at all it does feel no. quite a grippy shoe so what do you think of the booty style design to the upper well I think that's one of the highlights of the shoe it has a wrap-around fit that helps that holds your foot nice and snugly into the shoe and gives yeah. you a good feeling of security. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Um, the one thing I would say, and this is only because I'm used to running in stability shoes, uh, it has got an ex external heel counter, but it's it's not a really strong heel counter like you would get on a, a stability shoe. Uh, it does give you a bit of structure around the heel area, but it's 
There is some rocking. There is a bit of rocking there. It's definitely a neutral shoe. So in terms of durability, I, I don't think we can comment too much on that at the moment because we haven't done enough miles in it. Um, it will be interesting to see how it holds up over more distance. But certainly, I would say so far, it's it's really it looks a really well made shoe. Would you agree? Yes, I'd say there's no fraying. It looks very well put together, and we've had no issues at all with them. No issues at all. Um, and I think the key thing here, guys, is the price. Absolutely. I mean, for this price, I mean it's about a third of what you'd pay for a new pair of Ultra Boost. Um, and for that, I think for if you're looking for a budget shoe neutral. that is neutral, yeah, and that is uh, for your longer runs or your easy day runs, then I don't think you can go too wrong with this. The only thing I would say is, at the moment, you can only get these in India. And I know quite a lot of you watch the channel from India, so if you do, then I'd certainly have no hesitation to recommend these to you. For everyone else, I do understand that in the future, they will be available in other parts of the world. So keep an eye out for that. But at the moment, you can only get them in India. Guys, that ends this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, many thanks to Paul for coming along, doing the review with me, giving his thoughts as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.